Good morning, everyone. Oh my God, yes, good morning, yes, say it back, love it. Um, my name is Adam Neville, uh, and I'm honored to be emceeing this beautiful event. You may remember me from last year when I shared how I came to the Mount Sinai Adolescent Health Center at age 14 feeling lost, alone, and uncertain about who I was. I was questioning my identity and dealing with emotions I had never felt before. I felt worthless and alone. Thankfully, my family noticed. My mother took me to the Mount Sinai Adolescent Health Center, where she herself was a patient many years earlier. There, I was met with extraordinary kindness and complete acceptance. I told you last year that I was drowning, and the center gave me a steady hand to pull me out of the depths. I still believe that, and I'm not sure where I would be today without that lifeline. With the support of the center, I have grown and continue to grow into a young person who's driven, hardworking, and confident most of the time. <laughs> I've had the pleasure of remaining in counseling for the past year, having a space to be my most vulnerable self, to patiently grow and accept myself even when I feel tired and hopeless is a priceless gift in a world that asks more and more from its young people. You must understand how much that means to me and to all the young people that the center cares for. In the past year, I've done my best to honor the generosity that the center has offered me. I had the joy of working once more with the Center Speak Peer Education Program, where I was employed to educate other adolescents about how to be their healthiest selves. I also learned valuable leadership skills and got to know the underserved but beautiful and diverse communities of New York City. I've also collaborated with teen-led groups like Why Vote, Next Generation Politics, and Extinction Rebellion Youth to better not only myself, but the world around me. As a senior in high school, I am now looking towards college. I plan to pursue studies in political science with hopes to serve the nation. That part of myself, who knows that I can accomplish my aspirations and make an effort to help the people around me, was nurtured by my experiences at the center. Frankly, we live in troubled times. Yet, in the midst of chaos, the center continues to bring hope, health, and goodness into the world. Thank you to the center and its wonderful staff for all that you've done, all that you continue to do, and all the difference you'll make to the world in the future. Thank you. <laughs>